Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to limit item size using the min max function. There's another built-in function to use the grid template columns and grid template rows called minmax. It's used to limit the size of items when the grid container changes size. To do this, you'll need to specify the acceptable size or range for your item. Here's an example. Grid template columns, we've got 100 pixel. We've got one column, 100 pixels, and minmax 50 pixels and 20, 200 pixels. So it's going to be at minimum 50 and at the max 200. And the above grid template columns is sent to create two columns. The first is 100 pixels wide, and the second has the minimum width of 50 pixels and the maximum width of 200 pixels. Okay, cool, there's two columns. This is the first column, and then this is the second column. And the second column is using this min max function that we're looking at. Using min max function, replace one fr in the repeat function with the column size that has the minimum width of 90 pixels and the maximum width of one fraction, and resize the preview panel to see the effect. Cool. So here we go. We want to we want to change this. So just like I did with last one, I'm just going to go underneath and then just delete this after we have our new uh, code. So got grid template columns and instead of it being repeat there to replace a one fr repeat function with a column size that has a minimum width so what we're going to do is say uh, min max of 90 pixels and then one fr cool now i'm just going to get rid of this because we don't need that anymore. And now what they're saying is we should be able to shrink this and raise it. So yeah, now we just have a single column. Oh, look, okay, so once we get beyond 90 pixels, you can see that it breaks and it becomes um, outside of the range of the window. And if I pull it back in, You'll see that it's it stays, it's one fraction, uh, one fraction, which means like a hundred percent, and so yeah, that's what you're seeing. That's what they want you to be able to identify as the fact. You see how it's overlapping and it's going out there? That's because that has to be about ninety pixels, I think. I press Command Shift Four, and you can see yeah, it's right at ninety pixels. That's when this starts uh, getting when it when it becomes its minimum width. And so this is really important because this is going to be the beginning of designing mobile responsive, meaning that your website looks good both on mobile and um, desktop or large screens. So yeah, we run the tests. I hope this passed. Oh, I might have it wrong. Grid template property that is set to repeat three columns with the minimum width of 90 and the maximum width of one. Oh, okay, so we wanna go repeat And then we want to do this three times. Okay, so that was the right th test. And so now you can see, interesting. They're all just staying. Oh yeah, okay, good. Yeah. So they they're stay at ninety when it's when it's this when they're that wide because, like I said, Command Shift Four that shows us that it's at ninety. And then if you spread it out, then it starts become um, one fraction. And one fraction because of the, we've repeated it three times, we've got three blocks. And so, yeah, um, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, um, the test pass. So we'll see you in the next lesson.